the weather turned out to be really great today and uh, I wanted to show you one area here in Los Angeles that is pretty much right next to uh, to downtown uh, it's called the Angelino Heights and uh, it's actually one of the uh, older neighborhoods here in town the oldest one was actually Bunker Hill but uh, Angelino Heights uh, was created in the, the late 1800s and uh, let's walk up the, the most famous street here which is uh, Carroll Avenue Carroll Avenue is uh, kind of in the middle of Angelino Heights here and um, it's not far from the 101 freeway and this area used to be a little bit bigger but when they built the 101 freeway they actually had to kind of tear down some uh, of these older buildings here but uh, this is what we have left and it's, uh, it's really a nice place here so let, let's just walk up this street here because you have many types of uh, building styles here you have houses uh, in the Victorian style you have bungalow, you have art deco, craftsman, things like that and this is really a nice little home look, look at that, wow by the way it's trash day today so people have all the trash cans out so you can find homes in you know different uh, sizes here some are big some are small but this street has many many of these original beautiful homes here Angelino Heights is also very close to downtown Los Angeles I mean it's roughly you know five ten minutes at most and you can reach it you, you can actually walk to downtown it's no big deal and I've seen it before some of these homes are actually under construction I think they have very strict rules how you can actually modify these homes they need to kind of stay the same at least outside right and that's good in one way because you don't want this beautiful historic area just to go away kind of like this one some uh, nice green house right they have two doors so, so maybe two families live in there and what we have here we have a much bigger house here in the corner of Douglas Street uh, and Carroll looks very very cool I will just follow this street here go to the other side kind of make a little loop to uh, illustrate what is going on here Wow, I like this one. Not only do we have a cool big tree here, we have a big nice home right behind it. So they say it's a fig tree. Yeah, you see the sign there, the little white sign? Wow, it's a massive tree. Probably planted the same time they built the, the home here. This is the sidewalk here and I'm not sure if I'm too close. Well, this is like a ghost home here. It's like falling apart. Check it, check it out. Take a look. All that wood up there needs to be fixed. Yeah, maybe they have some spooky stuff going on in this area. You know, I think I will kind of go to the other side there to give you a better perspective here and you see other homes are being you know fixed up a little bit uh, you see some uh, activities going on there uh, and uh, this is just a very cool place 
hard to believe. I mean, if you ask people, where am I right now? Nobody will say Los Angeles because they are thinking you have only slum here, but it's not true. Even this side here has some really cool homes, right? This one, for instance, looks really nice. And people actually pay attention to these homes here. They, they, uh, they try to uh, keep them like brand new, keep them up to date. And there's a little brown one up there, right? This area here is also a pricey one. Uh, now you, you can't buy anything here without coughing up some real money, of course. Um, first of all, it's very, very central. It's close to, you know, downtown, close to freeway access. I mean, you can just go down on the freeway in a minute, things like that. So it's, it's really one of these nice areas. Um, and uh, they, they, they used to have a few stores here. I'm going to show you one store a little bit later here uh, when I'm done, but right now I'm just walking. I'm coming over here to uh, East Edgeware Road and somebody put up a sign here, stop police brutality. Oh, that's kind of funny. People are really creative here in Angelino Heights. Looking down the street there, you can actually see how close we are to, uh, to downtown. I mean, literally, you, you put on your jogging shoes and you will be down there in a couple of minutes. I think I will walk up this street here because then I have the uh, sun in the, in the back. And that will help here. I mean, it, it looks like wherever I go, you, you have the sun in the face, right? But uh, I'm trying to avoid that. This kind of, I'm not sure if it's colonial. You see these pillars in the front. Uh, yeah, looks nice. It's very peaceful, very green. You see flowers everywhere. <laughs> and somebody has a solid uh, metal door here. It looks like a vault in here, right? Maybe it is, maybe it's a secret room here. Here we have Callum Avenue, the highest concentration of Victorian era residences. Well, we must see that. Even though they have this noisy truck up there. But that's just reality. We have some action here. Let, let's find out. Maybe we can see what's going on here. And with the blue sky in the background, it can't be better. This is just really cool. It looks like they have mail service here too. We have the little mail guy coming here. Real rock and roll movers. That's what you get here. This noisy moving truck. And they, they, they do anything here, you can, you can tell. And it looks like they are moving from the area. And they are standing right next to the male guy here. Have some real action. I just continue my my journey here. Let's see what we can find behind the bush here. Wow, it's a nice little front of the house, right? And the green one, look at that. It looks like it's built in 1887. And if this area was created in 1886, this must be one of these original homes they have up here, right? A 
but they don't cut the grass very well. I mean, look, look at that. They just have a lot of weed here. And behind this tree, we see this masterpiece here. Let, let me see if the light is better from Douglas Street here. Wow, this is really a cool place. Look at that. I mean, you want to live here, right? A million dollars, maybe that's not enough. Maybe two million dollars. I mean, who knows? It's going to cost you some real crisp green, right? I can't believe I'm 10 minutes from downtown, right? Uh, the feeling here is like countryside. It's so peaceful, so quiet. I mean, basically the only noise you have here is, you know, when a helicopter is passing or some airplane. Besides from that, it's just very, very quiet. All right, this is, looks like more modern, I guess. Somebody parked a nice bike here. Looks like people like motorcycles here in Angelino Heights. I'm guessing, and this is just a guess, but I don't think they have any crime rate here. I mean, it's, it's you know, an upper class area, right? Wow, look at this. So it's a, it's a place where you can walk after the sun is gone, right? Which is good. I like that. So next time I, I bring my uh, jogging shoes here and make a lap here. I'm actually on this uh, loop road here. And there's like nobody out there. Of course, it's lunchtime, so people are at work or they are sitting at home, things like that, right? And I'm just out here by myself, exploring this pristine area. And we have a jogger over there. He just crossed the street. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is the perfect place. You have some hills, you can go up and down and uh, no fumes because there's very little traffic. Somebody put up this clever sign here. Dogs may not be your whole life, but they make your life whole. All right, okay, so we have some poets in the area. Definitely a smaller house there. And then we have this one that looks like a wooden box. I wonder if it's a home. It's probably bigger on the back side, of course. And I see a fancy house in between these two. You see the little fancy roof they have down there? These are definitely well hidden here because you see only the top and you think it's a small house and then you look over the fence here let me see here. You actually notice that it's a much bigger house. It goes all the way down. So you have like one, two, three, three floors in here, even though it looks like a tiny little home. I'm kind of back where I started here and I found this house right here. Uh, let's uh, take a look. It looks like it needs some paint though. It's a big, big house. It doesn't look like anybody living there really, but uh, it could need some paint, right? It's falling apart. But to fix a home like that, that must cost a fortune. So I, I don't blame them. I mean, I couldn't do it. <laughs> Before going down to, uh, to the freeway, I just had to go in here, you know, I saw a side street, so of course I gravitated into the side street. And we have some morning glory here, really beautiful blue color. Wow, 
smells so nice. It's not even April and it's still in full bloom here in this part of uh, California. The reason I'm going down here is because I wanted to take a look at that Victorian house we saw earlier um, up to the left. Wow, here's an alley. I mean, I, I could spend a day here just drifting up and down in these alleys here. And uh, it's actually, if I'm turning around here, it goes up here. It's like a hidden gem. All you need is cash and then you can live here, okay? <laughs> Do I have cash? Not really. But I can still see these uh, very cool homes here. I can't see a sign here, but I think this is Kensington Road. And there's only one thing we can do, and that's just continue to walk here. We have different styles here. These are kind of lower, more experimental. And that's the beauty. I mean, if you compare to a new, newly built area, every home looks the same. Every color is the same, no charm at all. But you go to these original neighborhoods, it's a different cookie. Every house is unique. Uh, they paid attention to details. Uh, and, and it's a more livable area. This brown one is entirely built of wood outside. I don't think you get permits to, to build these kind of buildings today. But it looks nice, very nice. It's a beautiful plant here. We have some red stuff coming up right here. And that's what I'm saying. I mean, people have a front yard and they take care of that very well. And this is the house I saw earlier in between these other homes here. Look at this one. It's like a classic or true movie house. Wow, look at that. You can still see a few of these in the area here, but nobody is building that these days. So we can just enjoy this one. It's really a masterpiece. Let me see it from the other side if I, if I can. No, I can't. So it's just disappearing here behind these beautiful trees. So I say goodbye to this Victorian style house. It would be impossible to show the entire area here in, in just a few minutes of video, right? But I'm trying to give you a sample of, of this area so you know the history of, of, of this town here. It's very interesting if you start reading about how actually Los Angeles developed from the late 1800s. It started down here by Bunker Hill downtown and, and then moved out in uh, circles, kind of west actually. And, and then you have other areas like the West Adams area, that's another beautiful place and so on and so on. So do some reading and, and you will find a lot of interesting history. Wow, this one is kind of cool. Yeah, they uh, made a beautiful front yard. They are behind all these cacti. Really cool. I'm almost at the Hollywood Freeway. The 101 freeway here. It's pretty much down to the left. Let's take a quick look and then uh, finish up. Oh, the movers again. They are leaving. They are really moving. I can't believe it. The rock and roll movers.
let's see if we can uh, see the freeway it's kind of hard uh, I will try here first I'm looking right through the fence so when they actually built uh, this uh, freeway here they, they ruined parts of this Angelino Heights area but uh, what we have up here pretty much up in this area here is what is left it's still a nice and big area and uh, I hope they don't uh, ruin this in the future the historic value is, is pretty big here and we have the bridge crossing the freeway here and you will be in downtown in uh, two minutes I am walking down to my final stop here uh, but by the way this area here is actually located between Chinatown and uh, Echo Park pretty much right in between and I think I will just look across the street there they have some really nice smaller homes here well they are not small but they are smaller than these big Victorian castles you see I'm coming down to Bob's Market the original uh, Bob's Market was built in uh, 1910 I believe and uh, it's a very popular place here everybody in the neighborhood here they come here to you know buy stuff small drinks whatever and if I go to the side uh, unfortunately the the Sun is right in the face here but you see from the side how it looks like here very popular place so here you have it the original Bob's food market from 1910 let me go to the other side here and finish up this was uh, Angelino Heights and uh, it's basically the entire area you see behind me here up here uh, it's still standing it's uh, better than ever before because they actually fixed these homes here so if you're in the area come and check it out do some jogging here in the nighttime okay you will be safe have a nice day okay